Hi, I'm Dr. Mike Ashby from The Breakthrough Company. We help business owners and managers to get the best from their business, their teams and themselves. Every business has to keep changing to remain competitive. And your job as a manager is to ensure that your part of the organization keeps improving and evolving. In other words, it keeps changing. In this little piece, you'll get some ideas and practices for building trust capital that you need to lead change. Here's the thing, you can't make people change. They have to want to. You can't push someone up a ladder. People have to agree to change if they're to buy into it and if it's going to be sustainable, if it's actually going to take hold. And they won't change if they don't trust you because trust is the currency of change. Just like your local money is the currency of trade. You know, you try buying something at your local shop with money from another country. Doesn't work. It's not the mechanism of exchange. Now, trust is more like a debit account than, than a credit account. You have to build it up before you can spend it. With a credit account, with a credit card, you go and, you know, you zip and zap it, and then you have to pay it off. With a debit account, you've got to have the money in the account before you can use it. How do you make deposits in your trust account? You do it through number one, being consistent. Do not change requirements or direction or understandings on a whim. Be mindful of what you've agreed to and committed to and stick with it. Second one, have integrity. Do what you say you're going to do. And most important, don't lie. And that includes fudging and that includes obfuscation and that includes all that sort of spin stuff. Integrity is about being who you say you are, doing what you say you'll do. Third one, be committed to excellence. Don't be sloppy about quality because people won't trust you when you, when you say quality is important or you know, you're serious about this or whatever. People won't believe you. You've diminished, depleted your trust capital. Finally, show some compassion. Make the effort to understand how, well in the first place all change is loss. So you need to have compassion when dealing with people who are going through a loss. You need to understand how a change causes discomfort and that mistakes are going to happen. Be human. Be a good human. Practice one thing. How's your trust balance right now? What's your one greatest challenge in building your trust capital? Is it your consistency, your integrity, your commitment to excellence or your practice of compassion? Find opportunities to practice in your interactions with people every day, building that trust capital. I'm now uploading a new video once a week. If you like this content and if you want more, please hit the subscribe button down below. To get notified when a new video is available, hit the bell button right next to the subscribe button and you'll get an email every time I upload. Hope to see you soon.